Is the public ready for EV tolls? With 65% of people worried about flying in autonomous aircraft, the dream of urban air mobility faces a serious challenge. In this video, we'll explore the social and psychological barriers preventing widespread acceptance of EV tolls, delve into the safety concerns surrounding autonomous flying, and examine how perceptions of elitism and privacy issues impact public trust. Have you ever wondered why nearly half of people think EV tolls are unnecessary compared to traditional transport? You'll want to stick around because understanding these barriers is crucial. Are these fears just misunderstandings, or do they point to fundamental issues in the EV toll industry? Join us as we uncover the truth behind the promise of flying taxis and their potential future in our cities. Welcome to our channel. Electric vertical takeoff and landing or EV tall aircraft are ready to change urban transportation, but public acceptance is still uncertain. These modern vehicles can help reduce traffic and pollution by offering quick, efficient, and eco-friendly rides. Companies like Joby Aviation and Archer Aviation are leading the way, with significant investments backing them. The potential for EV tolls is huge. McKinsey estimates that the urban air mobility market could reach $3 trillion by 2050. With over 600 prototypes being developed by companies like NASA, Boeing, Airbus, and Uber, the industry is moving quickly. Archer Aviation plans to start air taxi services in Abu Dhabi by 2025, making EV tolls a near-future reality. These aircraft use distributed electric propulsion, DEP, with multiple rotors for lift and thrust, featuring designs like multi-rotor and tilt-rotor configurations that balance noise and efficiency. For EV tolls to succeed, people need to feel safe using them, but many still have concerns. A 2022 study by the National Academies of Sciences found that 65% of people worry about system failures in autonomous flying. This fear comes from the complexity of these systems, which use artificial intelligence to control flight paths and handle emergencies. Cybersecurity is another issue. A 2021 PwC survey showed that worries about hacking are among the top barriers to acceptance. These fears are valid, as EV tolls depend on machine learning to make decisions that can sometimes be better than human pilots. For example, AI and EV tolls helps avoid mid-air collisions and detect problems in real time, offering precision that traditional pilots can't always match. EV tolls are expected to be quieter than helicopters, but noise is still a concern in cities. NASA's 2020 research showed that even small changes in noise levels can greatly affect how people feel, especially in residential areas. While technology may reduce noise over time, gaining public acceptance will require addressing these local concerns. Privacy issues are also important. With EV tolls flying at low altitudes, many people worry about being watched in crowded areas. A 2019 survey in New York City found that 58% of respondents were concerned about privacy disruptions. To gain public trust, it's essential to balance efficient operations with community worries. Cost is a big barrier to using EV tolls, especially at first, when these services might mainly attract rich people. Morgan Stanley's 2023 analysis says that initial costs could be between $10 and $15 per mile, which is too expensive for most commuters. This high price could turn people away and make it seem like EV tolls are just for the wealthy. A 2022 survey by the European Commission found that 48% of people thought EV tolls were unnecessary compared to regular ground transport. To change these views, we need fair pricing and to include EV tolls in existing transport systems so everyone can use them. New technology often brings fear and doubt and EV tolls are no exception. A 2020 study in the Journal of Applied Aviation Psychology found that 72% of people preferred ground transport for short trips, mainly because they were not familiar with EV tolls. People often resist change, especially when it means changing how we travel. Cultural norms also matter. In many places, EV tolls might be seen as disruptive to the look of cities. Concerns about how these vehicles could change neighborhoods are valid and should be addressed through open community discussions and careful planning. Even though EV tolls are advertised as eco-friendly, they face criticism about their environmental impact. Critics point to the carbon footprint for making batteries and getting materials. 
A 2023 study by the University of Michigan showed that while EV tolls have lower emissions when flying, their production still harms the environment. Urban ecosystems could also be at risk. BirdLife International has raised concerns about how air corridors might affect migratory birds and city wildlife. We need to address these environmental issues to build public trust in the EV toll industry's claims of being sustainable. Public education is key to helping people understand EV toll technology and accept it. Being open about safety measures, noise reduction, and environmental effects can reduce skepticism. For example, Airbus's Fly Quiet initiative has successfully engaged communities by sharing detailed information about noise issues. Community involvement is also crucial. In 2020, Ehang held an open demonstration in Guangzhou attracting 10,000 people. Feedback after the event showed a big increase in public support, highlighting how first-hand experiences can ease worries. Regulatory frameworks are important for addressing public concerns. Noise standards designed for city environments, like those being developed by the FAA's Advanced Air Mobility Noise Working Group, can help reduce resistance. Singapore is taking proactive steps by proposing subsidies for low-income users during the rollout phase making EV toll services more accessible to everyone. Well-planned infrastructure can lessen the visual and noise impact of EV tolls. Vertiports designed with soundproofing and green roofs provide a promising solution. Los Angeles' proposed vertiports focus on reducing noise and blending in with city landscapes. Connecting EV tolls with other forms of transport is also important. Zurich's Smart Mobility Hub is a great example as it links EV toll services with public transit to make travel easier for users. Gradual exposure to EV tolls can help people adjust to this new way of traveling. Phased rollouts like Joby Aviation's plan to start in smaller cities help reduce the novelty factor and allow communities to adapt step by step. Telling positive stories is also important for shaping how people see EV tolls. For instance, the use of EV tolls to deliver medical supplies in rural areas shows the practical and life-saving benefits of this technology. Sharing such success stories can help change public opinion in favor of EV toll adoption. To counter doubts about greenwashing, EV toll manufacturers need to share clear data on their environmental impact. A company's sustainability report, which outlined the carbon footprint of its aircraft, is a good start. Collaborations focused on renewable energy, like Archer's partnership with Tesla's Solar City, can also show a commitment to sustainability. Countries and cities around the world are testing EV tolls, providing valuable lessons for wider use. Singapore has included EV tolls in urban planning, involving communities in where to place vertiports and how to reduce noise. In Guangzhou, Ehang's trials included live demonstrations and regular updates, leading to a 65% increase in public support. Los Angeles is focusing on fairness and noise reduction in its plans for skyscraper corridors. A 2022 pilot program survey found that 78% of participants viewed the project positively, showing the importance of addressing public concerns early in the rollout process. People's doubts about EV tolls show that we need to be open and involve communities to gain their trust in flying taxis. Can the EV toll industry overcome these fears, or will public worries hold it back? Share your thoughts in the comments below.